If we want to understand the processes that operate in the Earth's interiors and how these control phenomena like, for example, earthquakes, volcanic eruption, the formation of natural resources, we need to use a research approach that combines different length and time scales. For example, think about the effect of an earthquake, of a fault that ruptures at a scale of 100 kilometers, but just in a few seconds, and these effects are linked to the preceding million years of geological history, but also to the physical properties of the tiny minerals that we can find inside the fold. The data that we produce inside these laboratories are really of crucial importance for understanding how the Earth has evolved, for locating and exploiting georesources, for evaluating and protecting us from geohazards like earthquakes. For the first time, through EPOS, the TCS multi-scale laboratories will collect all the data available at the Solid Earth Science Research Centers and will make them available through organized services and with like a um, um, harmonized format, uh, not only to um, researchers in earth sciences, but also to industry and to society and in a usable form. The opportunity we have with EPOS is to uh, address the challenge of understanding the multi-scale nature of Earth by integrating all different data that are available in the laboratories and also their facilities. So we integrating uh, data from uh, um, plate tectonics model in an analog modeling laboratory or earthquakes in experiments that last just a few seconds, we will address not only fundamental science, but also we will try to solve uh, problems like challenges in energy and in environment. We want to tackle major challenges like uh, mitigation of natural risks, um, to exploit geo-resources, but also to boost discoveries in fundamental research in science, the information that we collect and we produce in the laboratories must be integrated with data coming from other fields in earth sciences. As an example, if we want to model natural or human-induced uh, seismicity, earthquake ruptures, we have uh, data coming from uh, rock physics laboratories on fault friction as an input but for evaluating if the models we produce really works, we need to integrate this data with seismological data on real earthquakes. All in all, uh, if we integrate all this kind of different data coming from different disciplines through EPOS, we will have a new approach to solve such problems. With respect to the community of laboratories, earth science laboratories, EPOS is an unprecedented opportunity to bring them all together in an organized and coherent network. And if we integrate the facilities that are available in the laboratories in Europe and the specialists that work in these laboratories, this will create new opportunities for uh, collaboration, innovation, uh, exchange for better research and best practices in the laboratory world. I think EPOS is a new way of bringing together especially researchers and make them share their findings and data and to collaborate together for new discoveries.